everybody and welcome to Jeju Magazine and today you're going to be learning how to make handmade face masks at home. There are a couple items that you're going to need to gather before we get started. So the first thing you're going to need is fabric. The second thing is going to be chalk or a white colored pencil. You're going to need scissors, two strands of elastic or fabric that has um, properties of elastic, and measuring tape. And last but not least, you're going to need a sewing machine or if you don't know how to sew with a machine, you can use needle and thread. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on the base, which is gonna end up being the face mask. So you wanna, so you wanna get your fabric and you wanna cut it 14 by 10. This is gonna be just the right measurement that your face mask is probably gonna end somewhere right here and basically cover your entire face. So once you measure everything 14 by 10, what you're gonna do is take your fabric and then you're gonna fold it like so. So right now, what we're doing is we are creating the filter pouch that the face mask is, is gonna come with. So next, you're gonna take your measuring tape and you're gonna put it on the fabric like so. And what you're gonna do is measure one and a half inch lines on both sides. So when you're done, it's gonna end up looking like this. So each side is gonna have one and a half inch lines and what you're gonna do is now use your sewing machine or your needle and thread and just sew those. For anyone using a sewing machine, just letting you guys know that we are using a simple stitch, a simple line. Um, that's just the easiest way to do it, nothing very complex. So I'm gonna put the fabric down right here and begin sewing. you sew the two ends together you're going to want to take either a little pair of scissors or any kind of scissors and just cut off the excess thread because we do not want that in our mask so next what we're going to do is we're simply going to open up the mask like so and we're going to push back the folds that we are creating so i'm just going to put it down the table and what you really want to do is crease these folds so the way they stay. So this is a, what it's gonna look like when you're done. And in order to um, allow the folds to stay down, you can take a hot iron and just, you know, run it through. But if you just have very strong hands, you can crease it enough like so, and it should stay down. You guys are done. You guys are done creasing down the ends. It should look like this. Like I said before, you can use your hands. I use my hands and this is how it turned out, or you can use an iron. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the folds that we created as so, and just push everything out. At this point, we are basically halfway done with our mask. So this is the front of the mask. And right here, this is the back. And as you guys can see, we have already created this filter pouch where you can insert your own filter for extra protection. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew, we're gonna fold over the ends of the mask like so. And we're just gonna sew, sew, sew them down on both sides. So this is what the mask looks like after I've taken in both of the sides. And you know, I'm gonna take my scissors, my bigger ones now, and I'm just gonna go in and clean up the mask. So I'm gonna cut any stray strings that I see. To make the mask look more clean, I'm gonna cut off all these pieces right here that are not sewn down. So I'm gonna take my scissors and go in uh, like so. These pieces aren't important and quite frankly they do not need to be there so I'm just going to cut all of them off. So our last step is to attach the elastic to the mask. You're going to take two pieces of elastic and cut them about seven to eight inches. Um, it just depends um, on your head shape. I do seven because I feel like I have a pretty normal sized head. And I'm gonna take a safety pin, put it through. And right now I'm just going to push the safety pin through the tunnel that we have created in the mask until it reaches all the way down to the end. Now for this step, I'm gonna take both ends of the elastic and I'm gonna push down right here and then knot it together. 
take my other piece of elastic and do the same thing on the opposite side. So once again, taking my safety pin, and now I'm just gonna push the elastic through the tunnel. Both ends of the elastic in my hand, push down, and now I'm gonna tie the elastic together and make sure to do a double knot just for security. So at this point, you can leave the knots out like this. I prefer to tuck mine in and I like to cut out the extra elastic that we're not using on the sides. So this is our finished product. So I'm gonna put it on for you guys and show you. Here we have the elastic and we have the mask. And like I said before, there is a filter pouch for extra security. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys can make your own face mask at home.